Madeline's not in the best mood right now. The girl was really rude. Today I am at Buffalo Exchange to bring some clothes in and do a little haul, so let's get thrifty. Today I'm joined with my husband, Nolan, and we have a ton of stuff in the back right here. I don't know if the camera really does it justice as to how much stuff we have. I went through our closets, he went through his closet, and we just kind of decluttered everything. And so we're gonna first try to sell things at Buffalo Exchange, because I have yet to do that. I've done something similar with Plato's Closet in my hometown. So we're gonna take it, see what we can sell. I have no idea what's gonna sell. We'll see if they don't take anything, that'll be a little bit sad. But I think they'll take a some of the stuff. We'll just have to see. And I'll let you guys know like what kind of stuff they took versus what they didn't take. And then I think we're just gonna drop off the rest at Goodwill. And then we're gonna just look around and see what we can find. Who do you think's gonna make more money selling clothes, you or me? Me, I have way more stuff than you. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. All right, Madeline's not in the best mood right now. The girl was really rude. Like, the guy that went before us had two humongous suitcases full of like, pretty brand new nice stuff. And she didn't take one thing, not one. And I was like, oh, we're screwed. And she's not gonna take any of our stuff. Cause ours is like nice stuff, but like, it's not like on trend stuff, obviously, cause we're getting rid of it. She didn't take any of it. Literally like, we showed one of our like, five bags and Ashley just kept handing stuff back. We're like, after she went through the first bag and like rejected everything, it was the best bag. And so I started like looking through the other bags and pulling out the good items. And then she started rejecting those. So then that's when we, we were like, okay, you I know what, honestly, we're, we'll just give up. I think had we gone to somebody else, they would have taken our stuff, honestly. Like it's good stuff. It's just stuff that we don't wear anymore. It's all like good condition, nice. So big. From like H&M and like. Big epic fail for us. I'm not a hater. No, I we, like, we love shopping love at Buffalo, Buffalo. Exchange. Not we gonna waste my time bringing clothes here again though. Yeah, Unless you have really we good clothes. We were here for a really long time. Let's go in, let's go in and see if we can find some uh, cute clothes. Now I'm mad. Big epic fail for Nifty Thrifty. To retaliate against, <laughs> where are we? No, we, we like Buffalo Exchange. We just failed yeah. epically. Yeah, instead of selling my stuff at Buffalo Exchange, I'm just gonna do it on my Poshmark. Wait, do I have Poshmark or Depop? Poshmark. Try both, but anyways, yeah. link it in the description. I have all my stuff on Poshmark that is actually like really nice stuff from like Lulu's, Urban, like those kind of websites. All my favorite items that I didn't actually bring here, like the nice quality, like more expensive high-end stuff is all on my Poshmark. So I'll leave a link for that below if you wanna shop my closet. If you feel bad for me that I just spent an hour and didn't get anything sold. Wait, but what I think guys, she has some good stuff in here. Like honestly, just put a few of these, I like for example, this jacket is pretty cool. Like this jacket right here, it's like brand new. I'm like, you could sell this for five bucks. Yeah, I'll sell this one. So, yeah, just put, put some of the stuff online. Let's go see what we can find. All of other people's good trash. for like New Year's Eve, like it's classy and everything. I think it's super cute. And I like the cut of it. It's like not too low cut. And I just think it's really cute. Perfect for like the holiday season, like maybe even a Christmas party or something like that. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have seen that like cardigan style on Pinterest, but I think it's really cute. And when I saw this, I thought this would be perfect for it. The arms are just like really long, so they're kind of like, it just feel weird and it's like kind of short right here. I don't know. Like it's cute, but it's just buttons and it's like this nice ripped material. I'm gonna probably have to say no to this one, but it is cute. Cute idea. 
Okay, I really like this jacket, and I've seen like similar ones online, and I think they're really trendy right now, and it's so soft. I just think it's super, super cute and cozy. Okay, I love this shirt. I think it's so sweet and cute. It's actually from H&M, and I actually remember seeing it there like not too, too long ago, but I think this is like just really sweet. I like the pattern on it. It's just adorable, and it's just like super girly. And like a beautiful pink color. Okay, I think this top is beautiful too. It's just like a gorgeous, like bluish, purplish blouse. And I just think it's just so cute and girly. I think it's actually blue. There's kind of a fun like texture to it. I think it's really sweet though. Okay, so surprisingly, this is actually a small, but it's so long. It's like so like a dress I think practically a dress but I think it's really fun like I love the colors and the knit is really nice and it's super soft I really like this sweater I just I don't really know about the length of it we'll see we'll see okay so I think this top is really fun it has a cute turtleneck and the puffy sleeves and then it gets like tight along the wrist I just thought it was kind of like a fun shirt and so I kind of wanted to just try it on and see how it looked but I think it's really adorable. I think it's very like wintry, fallish fashion, but it's super soft, good material. I think it's really cute. I just saw Baby Poop yesterday and it was No, you're so pretty. You don't need that color. Okay, so this is the last thing that I have. The color doesn't need Okay, so this is the last dress that I have, or just last item, I guess. And I think it's really cute. It's actually from Madewell. So quality is like top notch. Super soft. And I think it's cute. Like kind of feels like beachy and flowy. I just don't know if I would wear it anytime soon. But I do think it's super adorable. Okay, so I made it home. After we went to Buffalo Exchange, we actually went to Goodwill to try to drop off the rest of the clothes that Buffalo Exchange didn't take. And their donation center was closed, so we're gonna have to end up doing that tomorrow. Then we just went to sushi for dinner, and so I'm just gonna do like a little recap on Buffalo Exchange. Me and Nolan really do genuinely love shopping there. Great stuff there, and usually you can always find stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't really find anything, and it was probably because I didn't really have anything in mind when I was going there. Like I was just kind of going there, seeing what I could find. Another sad thing is that they didn't take any of our clothes. Um, but the lady did say that they look for things that are in style now, um, how much they've been worn, and then um, they don't actually really take into consideration the season that they're buying for. They kind of just shop for any season. But unfortunately, our closet was not doing it for them. So I'm probably not gonna be taking stuff there. It took a really long time and they didn't even take any of my clothes. I'm probably gonna just stick to Poshmark and selling things on there because I actually get more money off of that. Anyways, it's just a little bit more pricey. I think if you're a beginner, buying from like upper end thrift stores is a great place to start because there is a lot of really cute things, good stylish things that you don't have to rummage through all the like garbage before you find like the good item. <laughs> Today just was not our day in any way. It's over now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was kind of a bust. Next week is going to be a great video. I will give you a little hint as to what it is. I'm going to be doing a reflection of my 2019 thrifted finds. Stay tuned to that. I will see you guys next week in my next episode of Nifty 50. Bye!